I'm Devontae Harris of Ghost Boy Mafia. You watching fanaticsview.com. Holla. Actually, I, I went up against a lot of uh, pretty good receivers, man, actually coming out with, uh, from college to, to the pros. Uh, like I say, uh, I went against Odell Beckham, uh, Antonio Brown. Uh, I didn't really guard Victor Cruz. Um, I mean, I, I, I caught a few. What, Mark Cooper, uh, Michael Crabtree. I mean, I caught a few, caught a few good ones. You know what I'm saying? I, and I feel, you know, I, I did my thing to a certain extent, uh, whether it be college or pros. So I mean, it was a good experience though. And them, man. See, oh, uh, and them. Like I say, man, I that game against LSU, I became a man. You dig? Uh, uh, that quick jam, that quick jam, it, it was it was real hectic. Uh, I caught him with a caught him with a quick jam, man, and I really had a hell of a game. Actually, that was it had to be one of my better games. Uh, and coming out of that game, that, that it gave me a whole new confidence in my, in my ability. Like, cause then I knew I could I could be that level. I mean, you know, and you know, I'm, I'm a free agent, undrafted free agent, but I don't care. I'm gonna I'm think like a first rounder, and, and and that's how I think. That's how I was raised to think, and. I'm not saying that that game gave me validation, but I knew, yes, I can ball with the greats at that point. So the draft process for me is, was very hectic, man. Uh, I mean, I was a small guy. I mean, I got a combine invite or whatever. I really, I, I really wasn't really on the radar. I mean, I didn't really run a wild 40. I mean, I tested like at the combine. I tested top 10 and everything else but the 40. Didn't really run a wild 40, but other than that, I mean, I mean, it was stressful. I was undrafted free agent, so I'm sitting at my sister's. Um, track meet at Baylor, and I'm, I'm just waiting on the call, waiting on the call, waiting on the call, no call. Uh, so after the draft, uh, I got a call, really call from everybody, and I chose my home with the New Orleans Saints. And uh, you know, uh, to God be the glory, I made that 53-man roster, and I'm going in again next year to do the same, hungry, hungrier, uh, if you will. I feel you gotta, find a, you gotta find a balance between being hungry and being patient, because yeah, you gotta waste your time. Yeah, you gotta waste your time. Uh, but at the same time, you don't wanna be content thinking, okay, I'm just a backup here in this league. Okay, I'm making my little hundred thousand dollars and getting by. I mean, I know that's not what I'm thinking. I want it all. Like I'm trying, I'm, I'm chasing the top. So like this is not just okay with me. I'm just not okay just being here. And and I mean, you could say that that's a lesson if you really wanna last a long time in this league. You are gonna have to be able to do that. And as far as experiences, man, it's really just just to being able to play the game, coming out, man, having that NFL logo on you. Like, I mean, I grew up, that's all I wanted to do, play football. So I grew up uh, having that NFL logo, man, having that floatily on the side of my helmet, man, coming out that tunnel. Like, that's, that's, a, that's a feeling that can't be compared. The best moments with my teammates, I can't mention on camera. <laughs> you did, but you know, I, I had fun, man. Like as far as the football wise, man, we I mean we we didn't we didn't reach that natty, the national championship like we wanted to, but I mean I, it was a it was a great group of guys to, to play with, man, and, and ball with. And then off the field we was like brothers. I mean, I, I got my, my best friend from college here right now, you know, and it's and it and it don't stop when we leave and them. You know what I'm saying? It's all it's all a grind. It's gonna Forever be a family thing. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, man, Mike Evans, <laughs> man, he, hey, a man amongst boys out there, man. He, a grown man. Mike Evans is Mike Evans. I mean, I don't really just gotta, like, you see what he doing to boys in the, in the pros, you know. And uh, I mean, at a and it was the same thing. He he taught me a lot from a competitive standpoint. To I mean, I was a very real small guy. He was a big guy. And, and uh, with me coming in and playing early, I was gonna have to be able to guard him. I was gonna have to be able to guard someone of his stature. And, and he just, he kind of, he was one of the early ones that kind of brought the dog out of me early. You know, being around greatness as a as a youngster, as a, as a uh, freshman in college, kind of brought that out of me. And uh, uh, I mean, going up against guys in the league, I mean, you know, it's like, like my first year, it was it was it was it was live. I was I, I was happy, but now my mindset changed a little bit. Now it's just now they're just other people now. Like and, you know, I don't mean no disrespect to nobody, but I gotta go get it. Like and I and, and I'm gonna respect all my all the ones who came before me. I'm gonna respect all, all these great players because they they deserve respect and they and, and and they grind for it. But at the same time, I do too. So it's time to go get it. I think Drew Brees is. He's a man of routine. Like when, when you when you constantly practice greatness, when you constantly do that. Like I mean, my locker is a few lockers down from his, and he does the same routine every day. 
every day. I mean, it, it's it's it, it looks crazy, but hey, it, it works, man. And, and and not only do that, man, he, he he takes every little detail to heart. So like, whether it be in the film room, whether it be in a, just the meetings, whether it be out there on the field, every detail, every detail matters to that dude. And, and you can do nothing but respect it. Man, Johnny, let's get it, baby. Let's get it. That's what I got to say, Johnny. Man, let's go. Like I got your back, baby. Go ball, man. I think, man, I, I think he get it now, man. And I wish nothing but the best for him. You know, I and, and I feel, you know, if whoever gives him another chance, man, I think he'll take advantage of it. You know, Vaughn is older, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta you gotta respect that gangster. You gotta respect it. I gotta go with my old head, but you know, Miles Gary, y'all just watch what he do at this combine. Just watch, watch. I, I'm putting a lot of pressure on him. Watch what my boy do at this combine, man. It's gonna be crazy. God's human outlaws striving together. It's a band of brotherhood, man. We're we're reaching out. Um, we're reaching out in our community, man, helping those that are less fortunate. Uh, just helping the kids. Uh, how can I say this? Um, as far as reading wise, man, with them Ghost Boy Outreach, we're trying to just stress reading with the kids and our parents, or their parents, man, just getting together and just reading for at least like 30 minutes to an hour a day, you know? That's what we're asking for. And, and, and God's Human Outlaw, that's what Ghost stands for, God's Human Outlaw striving together. Man, we got a lot of things coming, man. Uh, clothing line dropping this month of March, actually. Uh, we just signed a new artist two days ago, Eskimo Slop. We have JC. Uh, he's an artist. We have Ghost La Familia. He's an artist uh, on the label, um, and then we have a, we have a, a whole bunch of athletes. But we got we actually got the site dropping. Y'all go check it out. It's gonna be GhostBoyMafia.com. Uh, that's where you can get all the gear, everything. And uh, like you say, man, we really bosses, and we we um, we built on Psalms 124. Uh, that's the uh, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, uh, you know, that's just a verse that we're built on, and, and we're just trying to leave our mark. But at the same time, you know, help those around us, you dig?